In Egyptian mythology, Horus is the god of the sky. He embodies power, protection, and renewal. As the son of Isis, the goddess of magic, and Osiris, the god of the afterlife, Horus holds a main place in Egyptian mythology. He is often depicted as a man with a falcon's head, symbolizing his sovereignty over the sky. This crowned divine bird not only stands for celestial power and kingship, but also plays a key role in maintaining order and justice in the universe. The Horus myth embraces themes of revenge, justice, and political power. By worshipping Horus, the ancient Egyptians voiced their longing for stability, order, and continuity, all crucial elements for a prosperous and stable society. The god's birth is the outcome of one of the most dramatic and famous myths of ancient Egypt. The story of his rise begins with Osiris being murdered by his brother Set, who was jealous and ambitious. Set dismembered Osiris' body and scattered its parts throughout Egypt. In her relentless pursuit, Isis gathered the pieces of her husband's body and, using her magical powers, temporarily revived him. During this brief period of renewed life, Isis conceived Horus. He was born not only as a god, but also as a symbol of hope and renewal for the Egyptian world. His very existence was seen as a triumph over death and chaos, as represented by Set, and a symbol that order and justice could be restored. Horus was conceived to fight Set, trying to avenge his father's death and restore order. This battle was more than a mere confrontation between two gods. It was the eternal struggle between order and chaos, good and evil, light and darkness. With his association with the sky, the sun, and kingship, Horus represents order, stability, and legitimacy. By contrast, Set symbolizes the disruptive and volatile forces of the universe, the unexpected and the destructive. In many versions of this myth, the battle between them is lengthy and brutal, with each god losing and winning at various times. This narrative echoes the Egyptian understanding that the universe's balance is a dynamic phenomenon, where order and chaos are in constant turmoil. One of the most iconic details of this struggle is when Horus loses one of his eyes, which is later recovered, representing the notion of renewal and healing following the conflict. This Eye of Horus was a powerful symbol of protection and health in ancient Egypt. The conflict ended in an unusual way, when Set was offered a lettuce, in which Horus poured his divine seed. This humiliation gave Horus a position of superiority over Set, who now had the seed of order inside him. With Horus's triumph, he was granted the right by the divine court to exercise the authority that previously belonged to his father. As the incarnations of Horus, the pharaohs were considered Egypt's legitimate rulers, meant to maintain order against the forces of chaos. Horus is heavily tied to the establishment of the unified Egyptian state, a process that merges two distinct regions, Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt, into a single political and cultural entity. Horus is traditionally affiliated with Upper Egypt, but his iconographic depiction after unification often features him wearing a double crown. This is a merger of the Upper Egyptian White Crown and the Lower Egyptian Red Crown. The double crown not only symbolizes the political unification of both regions, but also Horus's role as a unifier and a keeper of order and stability throughout Egypt. Horus's mythical feud with Set is also taken as an allegory for unification. In this context, Horus stands for the forces of order, legitimacy, and unification, whereas Set symbolizes the powers of chaos and disunity. Horus's eventual victory over Set is viewed as a metaphor for bridging internal divisions and establishing a unified state under central leadership. Additionally, as the protector of the pharaohs in the kingdom, Horus became an even more meaningful deity following unification. The unified Egyptian pharaohs were often portrayed as living incarnations of Horus. This reinforced the idea that the pharaoh was the legitimate ruler, meant to uphold unity and order throughout the kingdom, just as Horus had done. The reign of a pharaoh as an incarnation of Horus was not only a political event, but also an act of maintaining cosmic order. Horus was venerated throughout Egypt, and his cult is one of the earliest in ancient Egyptian religious history. Horus worship pervaded many aspects of Egyptian life, 
from the political sphere to everyday life, and was deeply ingrained in Egyptian culture and religion. The temples consecrated to Horus were worship sites and played an important role in local economic and political life. These temples' architecture was magnificent, with massive pillars, open courtyards, and sacred shrines. The walls were ornamented with reliefs and detailed engravings, illustrating Horus-related myths, worship rituals, and everyday scenes. Horus' cult involved many rituals and festivals. Among the most important was the celebration of Horus's victory over Set, symbolizing the triumph of order over chaos. At such festivals, Horus statues were taken in processions, and the worshippers offered sacrifices and prayers. Additional rituals included daily offerings, songs, and prayers, as well as purification and renewal rituals. Horus also had a role to perform in the Egyptians' daily lives. He was used as protection against danger, to cure illnesses, especially in children, and as a guardian at moments of passage, such as death. Egyptian artistic representations of Horus express this deity's importance and complexity in the Egyptian pantheon. Horus iconography is encountered in a wide range of contexts, from grandiose sculptures and reliefs in temples to dainty paintings in tombs and everyday objects. The sculptures frequently depict Horus in a regal and imposing posture. Statues of Horus as a falcon, or as a man with a falcon's head, were common and frequently placed in temples as a symbol of protection and divine power. These sculptures range in size from small bronze figures to large stone statues. In temples dedicated to Horus, especially in Edfu, wall reliefs depict mythological scenes involving Horus, featuring his fight against Set, his association with the pharaoh and his role in maintaining cosmic order. These embossments are saturated with detail and symbolic narratives. Horus was often portrayed in the tombs as a protector of the dead. He is seen leading the deceased to the afterlife or providing protection against evil spirits. These images underline the belief in intercession and in Horus's protective role in the afterlife. The god also appeared on a range of artifacts, such as amulets, jewelry, and everyday objects. The Eye of Horus in particular, a symbol of protection, health, and restoration, was a frequent image on amulets and paintings. As one of the most iconic deities in Egyptian mythology, Horus holds a prominent place in both the religion and culture of ancient Egypt. His art representations, from majestic sculptures in temples to delicate paintings in tombs, exemplify the reverence and importance attributed to him over millennia.